All right, let's see where this thing leads. Okay, let's uh, three, two, one, and oh, <gasps> oh my gosh, what the heck? It's so expansive. I did not imagine. Whoa! Oh no way! It's not. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a gem. Look at this, guys. We have our own private pool. This is gorgeous. This is Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Twist and today we're taking a look at this Minecraft modern mansion. This thing has courtyards, guest houses, a pool floating above the ocean. It's crazy and it's going to be so cool. So be sure to take one second to crush that like button as well as don't forget to leave a comment down below. It really helps out the channel and I would appreciate it. But either way guys, let's go ahead and and get started with today's video. Let's walk through the front gate and check this place out, guys. It already looks awesome. To the left hand side, we have a security booth over here. Just a standard security booth with everything that you need to guard this awesome property. But there's another door over there, which we're just gonna walk out and enter our main street. So this is actually such a large house. It's seriously a mansion because we have our own private road in this place. That is crazy. Over here here we have what it looks to be like a balcony this thing is going to give us a view of the inside of this house check that out guys but over here we have a view of the ocean now obviously like my view distance I just turned it down but you, normally you'd be able to see as far as the eye could see and this is gonna be awesome and we can get a glimpse of our yacht down there oh man this is gonna be so cool so we're gonna go back into the house actually I want to look off this balcony as well this thing's pretty nice oh dude look at this there's a balcony over there as well and there's the pool right across from us someone's swimming there we can just wave at them but uh either way there is some sheep <laughs> on the side of that cliff being absolutely crazy but uh over here check this place out guys this is the front or I guess the back of the house, it's made completely out of glass, a glass ceiling with so many awesome lighting fixtures and natural lighting coming through. But look at this room, guys. I really love this space. It is so awesome and modern. Let's just pull back and look at that. Oh my gosh, it is cool. Now over here, we have obviously some you know, basic uh, decoration, seating arrangements, a dining room table, as well as a lovely modern kitchen. Look at that. And over here, we have a private area for storage. So this is going to be a nice storage room. We have a place to put our armor stand or our chef's uniform as well as some shelves and behind the shelves we have some more glass. I'm really loving this guest house. This thing is absolutely crazy with all of this glass on it. Now I'm going to try to find better words than crazy because I'm already saying it so many times because this map is in fact insane. But Check this out guys, over here we have a bar, we have these anvils acting as a stool and just awesome, awesome decorations, oh my goodness. And over here we have a piano right at the center, lovely carpets and the front door. This is the actual front door which is going to connect to the roadway. And I did forget one room. Let's go back over here and actually look into this room. Look at that, guys. A bedroom. This is a place that you'd want to live for sure. Imagine waking up on a bed over here. Let's just uh, imagine this. Waking up on the bed. You know, go grab your uniform, your outfit, whatever. Maybe take a little shower. Boop, 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 boop. In the shower. And come out. Change your outfit. I did that backwards, but yeah, here we go. And then maybe play your piano on the way, tap a few keys of your favorite song, and then you walk out into your kitchen, fix yourself some breakfast, and you're ready to go and sit on the balcony and enjoy your meal. And that is would be the dream, honestly. That would be so cool, especially this section. Oh my gosh, you cannot imagine living in a place like this. But either way, this uh, part leads out into a nice outdoor area because, of course, one of the great things about having a house and one of the great parts of a house is to have a yard to play in. Because if you don't have a yard to play in, then it's it's kind of boring, to be honest. Do people still play outside? I don't know. Maybe some of you play uh, soccer or, you know, something like that. I definitely think people still do that. But either way, let's go back towards the front door and exit this guest house and continue down the line up towards this amazing tree. Look at this, guys. That is a cherry blossom tree, I believe. That is popular in Japan, walking past our garage. But that thing looks awesome. It's a nice little fixture for the house, for the property. 
I quite like it. Now, we're gonna walk past over here and encounter what looks to be like the main house, but on the left-hand side, what do we have, guys? Do you, can you guess? Do you know what it is? Yes, it is a rec center. We have our own private sports area. This thing is wild. You can host some amazing games with your friends. Let's just walk through. Oh, wow, you can actually go underneath the tree. That is pretty awesome. So you don't have to actually walk on the road like I was doing, but let's go back over here and go towards the tennis court. Wow, look at this, guys. This is either a tennis court or a volleyball court. It looks like a volleyball court because it's so high up off the ground, but with these fences, that looks so cool, especially with this turquoise color, turquoise and white. Really nice colors by uh, chosen by the map creator. So awesome, and there's also a grandstand over here, so if you want to- Oh, wait, this is not a grandstand. This is a ping pong area, table tennis area. So this is taking it to the next level. If you want to host a party over here, this will definitely be one of the best parties ever because you'll be able to do so much without even leaving the property. Man, that's cool, and we have some more awesome floral decorations, but I'm gonna go into the rec center and actually um, check this thing out. Oh, no way! It's not... <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a gym. Look at this, guys. We have our own private pool. This is gorgeous. This is a beautiful area. Again, with the glass ceiling, a mixture of that artificial and natural lighting. Look at that, guys. Oh, my gosh. That is so cool. So... Not only do we have the tennis court, but we have our private pool area. And it's not just any pool, it is a deep pool. Because why have a pool if it's not gonna be deep? We gotta do some proper swimming. Let's jump down over there and look at this, guys. It's gonna go from, you know, really deep to slightly deeper. But I really like this corner because there's a lot of natural light coming through. Over here, what it looks to be like, uh, actually, yeah, it's a pump. <laughs> so that, that was, wasn't really much, but you have some benches over here, so you can just sit down and watch other people swim. And then we have some showers, or what it looks like, yep, showers over here in the back to, you know, take a shower once you finish having your fun and sweating and whatnot, and then some more storage areas. And finally, and last but not least, we have a place to dive off the top because no pool would be completed without one of these. So let's just run and jump. BAM! <laughs> okay, that's pretty fun. Uh, let's exit this area. This very fun area, which, um, I guess there's no la- oh, it's all the way over there. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. And yet again, lots of glass, which even adds to it, honestly. Re very modern, very nice. I really like the roof on that as well. Let's just fly up real quick. Look at that roof, guys. Oh my gosh, it's like a op semi-open space. That is, that is pretty cool. Okay, so let's go back towards the road and check some other things out. So here we are in the road and as we go down the road, it just forks into two different areas into this like circular spot. Now, this I thought was a private modern mansion. It still can be. I would really love for it to be that, but it looks like we have a drop-off area. So this actually might be a resort of some kind, but we have a drop-off area with another amazing glass ceiling. I'm in love with these glass ceiling guys and these pillars with the lights in them and a, like a wall right behind it. But look at this, look at the chicken. Oh my gosh, he's so amazing, his feathers and his feet. No, I'm just playing it. But uh, yeah, over here, we have this awesome sort of square and not a square, obviously a circle, but you know what I mean, this, this awesome space at the center of our a circular driveway and this thing is gonna go down into the ground so this is quite nice check this out we're gonna go down into the ground it reminds me of a monument in Germany I I, I haven't um, I can't recall the name at the moment but they have this uh, like a similar type of design where you sort of go into the ground and they have these very blocky monuments I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about but check this place out it's pretty cool it's a very nice little addition uh, to this space. I really like it. So the circular area, I give it a 10 out of 10, especially with this glass roof. So when you actually stop off in these areas, we have two other spaces over here. Before we actually get to the main house, I want to look at this because it is quite interesting and quite cool. But over here, we have obviously some more floral decorations like an outdoor pond, quite nice. And on this side, we have what looks to be like a church. So Again, everything that you could possibly need is in this area, guys. We even have a church. Come on. So we have the cross there with the two candles. That's a uh, pretty nice attention to detail. And then we have the, the seats, the aisles that you would sit down, and even the 
glass has a cross in it. And I was about to swear for a second, but I just realized that one, that is really bad to do in a church, and two, this is a Minecraft video. But uh, yeah, there's also these awesome street lights and some more awesome decorations scattered across the map, as well as what looks to be like the helipad over here. So let's go up to the helipad and there's like a VTOL. Check that out guys. It's about to land on the helipad and this helipad is right above the water. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. I'm kind of getting sidetracked here, but I'm just having a lot of fun exploring this map. I want to check out this space. What is that? Okay, let's go back towards this area. Let's see what this is. I actually ducked in real life. What, what am I doing? Okay, so there's the glass ceiling yet again. A hallmark of this map. And look at that dome. Look at this space, guys. Oh, my gosh. So if you come back here and just imagine in this space, we have a dance competition going off. We have some sort of event, some sort of juggling or circus. Man, that will be so cool to take a look at, especially with the seating arrangements right behind us, like a restaurant space. This is going to be so cool. Man, I wish this place was real because I would visit it, honestly. And then we have another balcony that would give us a nice view of the water. Obviously, we can't see the water right now, but you can imagine it. It looks blue and it's kind of reflective, if you get the idea. But that's a pretty awesome space. Over here, I think this is gonna be a restaurant or maybe a private gym. So I guess this is a very uh, nice place to put a gym. So we have the treadmills, we have um, massage tables, what it looks like, and then we have this space like sort of overhanging off the cliff, just to give it a little bit of like razzmatazz, you know, to, for a gimmick to sell. Like, hey, do you wanna join this gym? We're hanging off a freaking cliff, man. And I'll be like, heck yeah, I wanna go to that gym just for the view. So we have some more toilets, a shower, and another shower. So that's quite nice. It's going to connect back to the main road and also towards this area, which is going to be our main space. So we're going to walk past this awesome fountain and go into our main house, guys. Look at this. We're going to walk through. Oh, I thought there was a pressure plates, <laughs> but we're going to walk into our main house. It's kind of dark in here. So what I'm going to do is um, grab myself a torch. Bam, and hold it in my hand. Look at this, guys. Oh, my God. Before we go down there, I'm going to walk up this side and check this place out. Look at this, indoor decorations, it's a random tree, but it's really nice with a lot, of, a lot of natural lighting coming through the ceiling as well. A really cool space over here, it looks like we have an elevator, which is currently not operational. We should probably close this thing off so we don't fall down to our death. And to the left side over here, we have the rest of the house, awesome decorations all around, pretty cool. A staircase, let's go up this and see what's at the top. Let's check it out, guys. Oh my gosh, it's gonna overlook the courtyard so you could chill at home and look at the game from afar. We have a bar over here, pretty nice. And we have another balcony that's going to overlook the rest of the house. This is uh, quite interesting. So walking past there, going up to the top, and oh my god! That is so cool! Okay, so we have a glass balcony. Look at this thing, guys. It's going to overhang right on top of our pool area, right on top or over our cliff. Man, that is awesome. Really loving how the map creator used glass in this map. We have a place to eat out here, as well as we have our master bedroom. So this is even better than the last room. We wake up in this area, there's an awesome bedroom, and then we go out into that balcony. Oh my goodness, past this amazing tree, and take a look at that view. So really, really cool. And also, let's take a look at the inside. Is there anything else? Nope, there's nothing else in here. It's just your bedroom. It's just perfectly catered for you. So that is uh, pretty awesome. Let's uh, go back down and take a look at the rest of the house. Pass all of these awesome decorations. Let's jump off real quick and go down over here. We have a guest bedroom. It's like a smaller area, but it's nice and quaint. I actually like this one instead of being all the way at the top of the house. We have a bathroom towards the back. Look at this, guys. It's really tucked in there. So we have the bathroom all the way back there, and then we have a closet over here. Look at that. And then we have our bedroom right, like, you just exit that area. And look at, you would never imagine there is a huge room back there. That's so cool. And then our bedroom, of course, you saw, which is also uh, awesome. So... Yeah, that is uh, really uh, a nice space. So let's continue here and check out the rest of the house. Oh man, so that is some type of hallway. Look at that. Walk through. 
We have a balcony, which is going to overlook this, like, huge glass wall. A lot of lighting fixtures. And there is the pool. We're going to get to that in just a second, guys. Well, let's go down these staircases and look at what's down here. Check this place out. We have an awesome seating uh, decoration. We have what looks to be like a TV and a stand for the TV, and then a huge window which we could use to see out into the ocean and into our pool area yet again. And whoa, look at what's behind the staircase, guys. Check this place out. It's so expansive. I did not imagine... Whoa, I did not imagine a whole house being back here. Check out this living room. What? Wait, this is actually a kitchen. Okay, so this is the dining room table. And then we have a kitchen over here with everything that you would need in the kitchen. Super modern and sleek design. I'm going to turn my, uh, my <laughs> view distance down even more here because my computer cannot handle how awesome this place is. But now it's a lot smoother. Look at this, guys. All of those amazing decorations, those lights in the wall, the ceiling. I would give this a 10 out of 10. Honestly, what would you rate this map so far? I think it's really, really cool. Definitely tell me what you guys think. But either way, on this end, we have another awesome room over here. It's going to take us to our balcony. But let's hit this lever and open up this doorway. This is, um... Yeah, we'll come back to this because I think it's going to take us down to our yacht. So let's go towards our balcony. Check this place out. It gets, like, so nice and bright. Love the natural lighting. And boom, look at this. I'm going to increase my view distance one more time just so we could get an amazing view of this thing once and for all. That is our guest house up there. Our tree, our balcony from our master bedroom. There is our pool, and we're standing on this awesome balcony where we can take a view at all of the dolphins and squid down there. We got to show some love to the squid as well as the dolphin because they're pretty cool too. Okay, let's uh, close those doors and turn our view distance down one more time because I am lagging so bad on this epic map. So going back towards the kitchen, back towards this awesome space, we're gonna see what else it has to offer. So this is the elevator that's gonna go back to the top of the house. I really loved or wished that there was a working elevator here. It's obviously for role playing, but that would've been uh, really sweet. And back here we have a place for storage. As you can see, there's loads of diamond blocks. And yeah, that's basically that. So I think this is going to be my favorite room of the house, like I said. But going back towards the front, we have another space over here. Check this out. We could walk towards this area. And then this is going to take us to another bedroom. Oh my gosh. This is a, a, a even much better view of the pool. That's really cool. And then that's a closet. I got pranked. And then this is another closet. The bed, obviously, and then our bathroom. So, oh my god, how is all of these things being fit into this one space? So, there's our shower, really cool shower, and all the other things you can imagine in a bathroom. You hit, uh, you come through this doorway, and it just leads you back into the hallway. So, that is quite nice. And then you have some storage under the staircase, because why waste any space? Some more amazing glass. Really like it there. Look at this, guys. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go out into the pool area and check that out. I think we go out over here and then we come towards this balcony where we could sunbathe and oh, there it is. We have the staircase going right down towards our pool. So let's go down towards the pool area and there we go, guys. So we have the upper pool and we could go into third person here. Look at this. Awesome. And we could go towards this diving board and from this diving board we could jump down into the second pool and then from the second pool we could jump down into the final third pool so there's a lot of space for everyone and for hosting a massive massive party now we also have some seating, seating arrangements over here and a staircase obviously to go back to the top but what I want to do now is show you guys the yacht because that is one thing that I overlooked so let's go back towards this balcony and then go down this area over here by opening up that door and then through this doorway we have a staircase that's going to lead back up to a storage room of some kind oh this is the fish tank what the heck i didn't even okay so the fish tank that's visible from the kitchen you can actually access from this area so that's uh that's pretty neat if you want to have a swim over here so it's like an indoor swimming pool Wow, that's pretty cool. And then we could go down back and towards this area where we could head towards our yacht. So, again, more spaces. Look at the storage area, guys. 
So it, this could be a fallout shelter as well. There's so many uh, beds, so many like bunk beds over here. There's so many things. I have no idea what any of these things are. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is uh, pretty overwhelming. Uh, let's go back towards here. What is this? Okay, redstone for the door. Um, let's hold a light up. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is also a fallout shelter. Look at this thing. We have just a huge rec room, a huge area to, to sit and eat. This is seriously like a bunker of some kind. There's like a hidden bunker on this map and a movie theater on the inside as well. What is going on here? If we hit this button, what does that do? I, I actually don't know what that does, but this is uh, this is pretty crazy here. Uh, toilet? All right, they have their own toilet, so you don't even need to come up from underground, a garage. And let's walk past here and just fly down just for the sake of uh, speeding things up. And an elevator, let's see where this elevator- Ah! Oh! oh gosh, um, I did not mean to do that. Let's maybe grab ourselves some torches. All right, let's see where this thing leads. Okay, let's uh, three, two, one, and- Oh! <gasps> oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh dude, that is that is so crazy. Okay, let's um, let's try it one more time. Let's uh, just drop that. Boop. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, that's awesome. So I think that's gonna take us down to our um, to our yacht, and back here is a staircase. So this staircase, if you go up the staircase, we could go past what looks to be like a silo or elevator of some sort. So that was the garage door that we saw earlier, and then if we go up to the top. This is actually going to exit inside of our building. Oh, so this is right next to our bedroom in our guest house. I actually did not see this doorway. Let's go back over here and see what it has as well. Oh, nothing. This is a very, very long staircase. So I'm just going to use spectator mode to fly right through it all the way to the bottom. Let's just go through here. And then once we're down here, we can take a look at the yachts. Bam, creative mode, fly down like Tony Stark's like Iron Man hallway. And then boom, we're now at the bottom of the cliff. So that was a journey, but we made it to our private yacht. Look at this, we have a car on our yacht. What does this even say? Republic of Union Islands. Oh, this is like our own island, in fact, our own country. So that's a sports car. We have a staircase going up to the top, but look at this yacht, guys. There's actually stuff in here. We have our, a living room. We have a staircase leading up to the top. We have a kitchen. We have a storage area. We have so many things in here, guys. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, dude, we have another bathroom. And then we have some other room over here as well. Another bathroom. Oh, that's the same exact bathroom, two different doorways. So or we have a staircase over here. Where is it? Uh, it's somewhere. Yep, it's over here. Let's go up this staircase and go towards the side of the yacht. I guess that's going to take us to the front. Boom. Check that out. Awesome yacht. That is really cool. And then we have the staircase towards the back. My favorite staircase because it looks like so... Um, it's so well designed. We walk up the staircase and boom, we have a pool at the top because why not? I'm not sure where the actual uh, captain's room is. I think it's like right over there. Let's look at the captain's room because we need to see that thing. There's a staircase. Oh, it's right over here. Boom, we're now going to go into the captain's room. Boom, check that out. So now we can officially say that we've looked at every part of this amazing yacht. Oh, there's a staircase right over here. Oh, I guess that's where the other... Oh, okay. So there's like another hidden staircase. So anyways, guys, that's basically going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy it, please take one second to crush that like button as well as, again, don't forget to leave a comment down below. It really helps grow the channel. I would love if you did that as well as don't forget to subscribe to see where I post my next video. This was Twist, and I'll see you all next time.